So I have my Sifayumi bag right here. Um, let me get situated here. I feel like I'm having a meeting or something. Hi, what's up? <laughs> so for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a Sephora haul. So I just put everything in this bag. That's why it's kind of like overflowing. But this was basically with like multiple trips. And then I also have, I think, two or three products that Octoly sent me as well that I'm going to share with you guys towards the end of the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I went ahead and picked up was this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So this is in like the smaller size. They do have a bigger size, but this I actually purchased in store and it was like at the checkout and i'm like i need to try this i heard every single soul talking about this and i'm like is it good is it not it is in a glass uh bottle and i have heard people also say that it leaves like an oily residue on the face so i don't know about that but i do have drier skin so honestly that wouldn't be the biggest deal because i kind of need that but i want to just you know spray a little bit now and see Wow, wow, the mist is really, really fine and very, very thin. It feels really, really refreshing on the face. Shit, I'm very, very excited for this. So that's the first thing that I picked up. I didn't want to commit to the full size because it was pretty pricey and I think this was 20, which is still up there, but I think it was just a great way for me to test it out and to see if I like it or not. If I like it, I can always purchase the full size on Sephora. Okay, so the next thing that I went ahead and picked up was from Drunk Elephant. And I think this was also like in the checkout section. This is the Hit It Off um, little duo. So it comes in this like little thingy. <laughs> oh, it says here, try, fall, drunk, in love, and repeat. That's so cute. Okay, so... I wanted to test these products out for the longest time ever. It comes with the whipped creme and this is a moisturizer. I heard a billion things about this and I did want to purchase the full size, but it's so expensive. And I'm like, great, let me test this out and see if it, you know, even works well with my skin before I commit to a big ass size. But it's such a nice, like pretty thick consistency type of moisturizer. It smells great too, and I do have a lot of luck with um, Drunk Elephant skincare products. So that's the first thing that comes in this little thing. I love when they make these little sets. The next thing that was included in here was the Jelly Cleanser, and this is one that I also heard a bunch of things about. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so basically, yeah, don't twist this because this thing does not come off. You basically just twist it a little bit, and then it just squeezes out like that. It's like jiggly situations though. Oh, man, I feel like I just wasted like a load now. They should put like a, <laughs> they, they should put like, oh wow. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so there's that. And um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted and let you know how they worked out for me. But again, I love this little set. I think it was like $20, which is great for drunk elephant, especially considering that the sizes are pretty, pretty nice. Okay, moving on to the next product I picked up. This is from Tarte and this is the... Picture Perfect Eyelash Curler and Little Mascara. So I picked this up basically just for the eyelash curler. I think it's so freaking cute. It has like these mermaid little fins on bottom. And I've used this quite a few times. I really do enjoy it. It actually works pretty, pretty well. Um, it also comes with a mascara, which was just an additional bonus. I didn't buy it for this, but this is actually brand new. So I'm going to keep it in there and maybe give it to someone. But um, if you are looking for a great eyelash curler, this one is really nice. It doesn't pull out your eyelash hairs and it's comfortable to use. It's not, it's awkward in a way because like every eyelash curler I feel like is awkward, but um, not in a way where it's like, Ugh, you know? So I love that and I love that the packaging is just beyond adorable. So that's just an added bonus. Okay, moving on to the next product that I picked up. This is the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot Rubber Soothing Mask. Okay, this is like freaking like scary. Like, what kind of packaging is this? I feel like it reminds me of those like scary ass movies and then I can't fall asleep, you know? So it's like, what? Very, very freaky. But this was like, I think 12 bucks. They had a few different ones to choose from. They had one that would add hydration. They had one for, I think, acne prone skin. I think this one is for soothing to help with texture. So I picked this one up and then this is what is included in this little like crazy ass packaged sick baby face. Um, <laughs> this one right here is the Shake and Shock Rubber Soothing Mask. It's so cool. You like shake it. I don't know, it's, it's, it feels like there's water in there. And then this one is the actual rubber mask. So I definitely have to read up on this and see how I have to use it because it was so expensive. Yeah, if it, if, it, if it performs as well as this, then I have no hope. Uh, 
<laughs> let's hope it's gonna perform nicely so that's the next thing that i picked up okay moving on to the next thing that i picked up this is the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer so they have one that's in the milk chocolate soleil and then this and then i think something else but that's how the packaging looks really really cute they redid their packaging and that's how it looks like on the inside it says chocolate matte and then I already swatched it. That's how it looks. It's really, really nice. Very pigmented. Super nice. Very soft. Consistent. Not chalky at all. And it's supposed to have like a coconutty smell. But I feel like it's a little bit of a kind of a turn off type of scent. I mean, it's not that, that bad. But I don't know. I'm not my preferred smell of life. But I'm very, very excited for this. Because I've never owned. I don't think that I've ever owned any of these singular full size uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzers. So I'm so excited to have this in my collection. Okay, then the next thing that I picked up is also from Too Faced and this is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Highlighter so that's how it looks once you open it up it's so cute and then it comes in this little box like literally imagine someone would propose to me with this I would like faint on the spa it's freaking cute but this is actually pretty pretty tiny you only get 12 grams of product which I don't think is so little but it just looks so so small but that's how it looks let me show you guys a close-up it's stunning so that's how it looks close up it's super beautiful I'm obsessed with this and I swatched it already oh, oh my goodness yum it has like a really nice white base to it but also like a purple shift as well so that's how it looks once it's swatched I still haven't used this on my face yet but I'm very very excited it has such a like smooth airy feel to it i just i love it okay then i picked up these two skincare products so this is the kula spf full spectrum sun silk drops and this i actually picked up when i was in store and i've been seeing this everywhere i feel like a ton of people are using this now especially since we're going into like these summer months and basically it's an spf that you would put on your face um before your makeup, if you're going out or on its own, if you're not going to be wearing makeup that day. What it says here is that it's cruelty-free, vegan, and antioxidant enriched, which is great. So you open it up just like that. And it's so pretty. That's how it looks. I am someone who does typically wear SPF, but it's not something that I'm like crazy over. Like I'm not super, super consistent with it. But I am going to be on top of my SPF this summer because it's so important. Like I used to sit out in the sun for four or five hours straight. I didn't even know what it was doing for my skin, you know? Um, so now that I'm more educated on the topic, um, I'm definitely gonna be on top of it. But it has like this dropper applicator to it and I wanna see how it feels. It smells great. It smells like, I love the smell of suntan lotion. It has like a suntan lotion-y smell, a very summery scent. And um, it's very, very smooth in consistency. I think that you're supposed to apply this 20 minutes before you go out. But it says here, introducing our breakthrough sun silk drops, your daily full spectrum of 360 degree protection from the sun, environmental toxins, and digital overexposure. You guys need this. Moving on to the next product that I picked up. This is from Cora Organics, and this is an eye oil. This was pretty pricey for how tiny this is. I mean, eye oils are pretty small to the most part, but this has 0.34 ounces of product. And then here's how the product looks up close. Okay, so this is one that I picked up in the store as well. And let me tell you, when you swatch it, it's super, super cooling. And... You could see a little bit of an oiliness, but not a heavy amount of oil, you know? It doesn't look like it dispenses a lot at all. Like, it literally dispenses the perfect amount. And I feel like it would be so nice under the eyes because of the cooling aspect. And because it's not going to be like a blob of oil coming out, you know, under the eye area. So, on the back here, it says that you could use it morning and night. It says gently roll on through the under eye area. Use fingertips to tap in the oil. And yeah, use morning and night. Oh, and then also, this is what I remember. It says that it gets rid of crow's feet which I don't know if you guys can see, I have major ass crow's feet that I think came when I used to chill in the sun on my porch for hours on end. And then before that, I don't remember ever having it, which is like crazy what the sun can do, you know? So I mainly got it because of my crow's feet. Hopefully it's gonna help with that and then everything else as well. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. This is from Kat Von D and this is the Everlasting Glimmer Veil Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rocker. So I don't even know... Well, I don't even know why I bought this. It's really cool. Like the packaging is so nice. I think someone was using it in one of their tutorials a few months back and it looked so hot on them and I was like, shit, I need it. But that's how it looks once it's swatched. It's a beautiful orangey color with like little specks of gold glitter in there. 
and it's like a cream finish but kind of metallic-y too like it's such an interesting formula i actually want to try it on now i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try it on now it looks so nice whoa this is definitely very very intense it has a very very watery feel when you put it on i just put it on top of the lipstick but it dries down it's so pretty it's so pretty i like this color Shit, I would have never picked it up. Really, really nice. Okay, then I have the Sephora Favorites Sunkissed Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Set. So I actually did a review on this five days ago, a few days ago, basically. That's how it looks like once you open it up. You get three bronzers, um, one, two, three cream highlighters, and one um, powder highlighter. I will leave uh, my video above in the cards or in the description box, but I am very, very happy with this. I specifically love this, which is the Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade 01. I'm telling you, it is beautiful. And this Hourglass cream highlighter, which I'm dying over. Like, I'm obsessed with it. So let me show you guys. So that's how the Hourglass highlighter looks. And then here's the Laura Mercier baked um highlighter together shit this is so freaking pretty you can blend it out really nicely i love that the hula bronzer is included in here as well because it's definitely a cult favorite the Tarte park avenue princess is amazing the siate london glow stick is that what it's called dewy stick is okay i feel like it is a little bit more oilyish in consistency but the milk makeup um cream highlighter is great and then the becca capri coast um, bronzer is beautiful as well. So I'm very, very happy with this. I have been getting a nice amount of use out of it so far since I purchased it. And I love it. I love it. I think it's so good. Then I have three products here that Octoly sent over. So, um, these are products that were sent to me free of charge from Octoly from these brands so that I could share with you guys my opinions and thoughts on it. You know, once I go ahead and use them. So the first product is the caviar anti-aging Omega Plus Anti Frizz Dry Oil Mist. This is for all hair types. That's how it looks. And it kind of sounds scary because it says dry oil mist. It's like, how can oil be dry? When you spray it, it does have an oily feel. I don't know if you guys can see. It smells bomb. It smells amazing. And I've used this in my hair once or twice. I didn't realize a huge difference, but it definitely does help with like the frizziness of my hair for sure. So I am very excited to still put this to the test and see what else it could do for my hair. Um, but so far, not bad at all. And you guys do know how picky my hair is, but so far the few products that I tried from this brand, I'm actually really, really liking. Then the next product that they sent over was this Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Um, yo, this smells amazing. It has like a very minty scent to it. Ooh, it smells so good. I love it. I love it. Um, I haven't used this on my hair yet, but I want to see something. Yeah, it has like exfoliating beads in there. And I've never tried anything like this for my hair ever. So this is very, very interesting and very intriguing for me. You guys do know how picky my hair is, like I just mentioned. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted and let you know if it is a worth it product to pick up because I know it's not like inexpensive. Like it's definitely up there for a hair care product. Okay, and then finally the last product they sent over was the Guerlain Lore Primer. So I've been using this for the past few days and... I haven't noticed a major major difference with my makeup I'm not gonna lie um, but it is really really nice and moisturizing on it has more of like a watery consistency to it um, it has a great scent to it as well I do find that my makeup does apply maybe a little bit nicer when it's on but I don't know how much it actually helps with uh, filling in my pores and that's one of my biggest skincare concerns I definitely want to go ahead and play around with this a little bit more of course before I even recommend it to you guys if I recommend it at all because it is definitely up there in price. I think it's like 70 bucks. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. That is everything that I recently picked up from Sephora and then those three products that Octoly sent to me as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the Sephora haul. Let me know if there were any exciting products you guys recently picked up from Sephora for yourselves. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.